Some people asked me to pray for her, and I was like, I really felt like God was telling me to uh, to read this over her. Um, but the part that he, ins he inspired me with was, I had it here and I lost it. Anyway, it goes, where can I go from your spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Where can I flee from your presence? If I go into the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, right. even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. I love that. It's just like it encompasses you with his love and his presence. And it's, it's just so good. And there's times <laughs> that we need that, you know, that we just need his, his love just to surround us. And so, uh, if you will, <laughs> let me sing the song for you. Thank you. 
first started coming to Valley Brook was like 20 some years ago, and um, I was a musician in bars and wherever else I could play. And once God got a hold of my heart, it was really the only kind of music that I wanted to ever write and play. So um, it's been on my heart just to just worship music in itself. I could, I don't really care sometimes too much for the even the stuff that I hear on the Christian radio station. I love most of it, but I don't. It's not my heart to write that. So my heart is to write worship music for the church, and it always has been. So I don't know. God's been putting some a bug in my heart to ask people if they may want to get together and really start writing some, some wouldn't it be cool if we could do this for the whole valley? If we would yeah. write collectively yeah. for the valley like crazy worship. Do we, these songs would be in uh, all our churches. Indeed. I think that would just be a really amazing way for God to move and unite us yeah. a little bit more in this ununited world that we feel like we're in these days, right? Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah.